A high profile death of a student on a Southern California school bus last year has sparked a state legislature to call for change. KCOY 12's Dave Alley is live in Santa Maria to explain how riding in a bus may soon become a lot safer for thousands of kids statewide. Scott and Melissa, according to state data, 14% of all students in California ride the bus to school. That's about 700,000 kids. It's a significant number of students that rely on a bus driver to make sure that they get to school and then back home safely. That's what's supposed to happen and to help make sure that it does. There's a bill up in Sacramento right now that's very close to becoming law. There's my warning that I need to reset my child check. It's a simple but important safety feature. So I'm going to come back here and hit my red stop button. It's an alarm system that may soon be installed in all school buses statewide. It saves lives. It encourages the driver, it makes the driver get up and walk their bus for any sleeping students or children that may be left behind. Some buses here on the Central Coast already have these alarms, including those driven by Student Transportation of America in Santa Maria. The State Assembly and State Senate passed a bill just last week requiring all buses to have these alarms. It awaits Governor Brown's signature to become law. It ensures that the bus is checked before being parked in the, in the lot, whether it's morning or in the evening, and there's no children left on board. This comes one year after an autistic student in Whittier died after spending hours left on a bus. Due to the carelessness of others, my son lost his life. Something that would have been avoided if an alarm system had been in place. In order to proceed on route, or to leave a school and come back here, you have to reset your child checks to stop your headlights from flashing or to prevent the horn from honking. If passed, the bill would also require school districts to make sure other safety measures are in place, such as annual training for drivers. The importance of, of the refreshers is to always remind the drivers that it may not be happening here, but in other locations and other states, children are being left on board. Which this bill intends to stop. Now, just last week, there was another incident down south. A special needs student was left on a bus in Apple Valley in San Bernardino County. That student was unharmed, but it shows that this uh, issue is continuing to be a very serious problem here in California. Reporting live in Santa Maria, Dave Valley, KCOY 12 Central Coast News. All right, Dave, thank you.